The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. We've shown you some disturbing photos on the show over the years, but this one might just make your skin crawl. It's time for What Is This? What Happened? And Could It Happen to Me? Check out this picture. What you are seeing, what you are seeing is a worm in her lip. Dr. Botra, explain. So actually we have a few photos of this. This is a parasitic roundworm called Dirifilaria repens. And basically it's a parasitic roundworm that is transferred by the bite of a mosquito. And it usually infects dogs or cats. This was a 32 year old woman who is believed to have bitten by a mosquito that carried this parasite outside of Moscow. So it really depends what region you're in. But the craziness of the story is it started out as a lump above her eye. Five days later, it transferred to below her eye, and then 10 days later within her upper lip, so over about two weeks. Just migrating. Yeah. Just it's crawling under the skin. Itching, burning, moving around on her face. She's taking <laughs> selfies and documenting this whole thing. And then finally goes in to see an ophthalmologist in Russia. And the way you remove this parasite is you actually take forceps and you take the whole thing out. So there's actually a photo of the worm once it was all out. Whoa. Yes. Yeah, because along the way of the migration, the worm is eating and hanging out, growing yes. bigger and bigger. Correct. And these can actually, in this case, it was about six inches. These can be about one to two millimeters in diameter, but reach up to 30 centimeters in length when they're in their normal host, like cats and dogs. So this, this is but, crazy. But do they typically stay in the skin, like subcutaneous? So in this case, so humans are not true hosts of this. So we're sort of incidental when you're hit, when you're bitten by this mosquito and they transfer to, ultimately this parasite would have died in her, but it does migrate in the meantime. And actually the big concern is if it dies there and your body unleashes a huge inflammatory response to it. She it are, can you can tell her problem. lip, that wasn't just the worm. She had a, she was clearly getting an inflammatory response. So if that worm had just set up shop there, died, she would have, it would have been a less ideal outcome, but luckily she was smart. She got it taken care of.